Hello everyone, welcome to the Notre Dame Preparatory High School's continuation of the how-to guide series. In this video we're going to discuss family sharing options and how to set up a family share plan with you and your students new iPad. Just a quick overview of what family sharing is, you can go to the Apple website, uh, the URL is listed here. Easiest way to get to it is just Google iCloud Family Share and it will bring you to this website. It goes over some of the main points of family sharing, it tells you how to initialize the setup of family sharing, which is outlined on this page here. It goes over the payment options, the setting up of family sharing, making purchases, and uh, the ultimate setup here but I will go over how to do the actual setup in a visual guide. Continuing on down this page, a couple things you can do is share all of your family's purchases, which include iTunes purchases like TV shows, music, and videos, and movies. You can also do an Apple Music membership, which is not going to be discussed in this video, but if you and your family like to have a number of music options you can do that as well you can set limits for purchases for your students with ask to buy and you can improve and decline requests directly through your iOS device whether that be a computer an iPhone an iPad whatever you want it'll show up as a pop-up asking you if your student is allowed to buy a particular app or purchase from the iTunes store you can also choose multiple approvers so if two parents are on this account, both parents can approve, and a student can make purchasing requests anytime they want, even during class. So if they are in class and the instructor says, hey, how about you download a specific application, and maybe it costs 99 cents or something, um, that request will go to anybody that's set as an approver in your family share. Another benefit is what's called the Family Photo Album. Using the iCloud Photos service, anybody in this family is now entered into this Family Share option with the Photos section. So you can take whatever photos you have on your iOS device or computer and post it directly to the Family Share Album. You also have an option for a Family Shared Calendar. So this is actually a pretty good way that you can keep track of student activities like uh, sports or plays or homework. So if your student has issues keeping track of their homework schedule, you can have them enter it all into this family share album or uh, calendar here. And you can see pretty much anything that they would uh, need to have turned in for the week. You can do that in Canvas as well, but it might just be easier to do it from here. And the other thing that's nice about this is you can use the family share settings to share a family location. Now this location is pretty nice because you can track where your student is at any given time or anybody in the family. The family members can turn this off on an individual basis. So if there's any privacy concerns, we you can also do that. And this will also give you a chance to add your children that are under 13 into an iCloud account. Officially, if your child is under 13, they're not allowed to have an iCloud account, but if you set it up through here, you'll be just fine. You can set it up and when your child turns 13, it will re-ask you if you want this person or this child on your family share account. Okay, so let's go into the iPad and see the easiest way to set this up. To set up iCloud family sharing from your iOS device, you want to go in and click the settings icon and click on your name up on the top left. I'm doing this tutorial from an iPad, so from an iPhone it might be a little bit different, but you should be able to find the iCloud settings in your settings application just like this. Now in order for this to work, you have to have iCloud turned on under your settings. And if you don't have that turned on, go ahead and click it on and go through the setup process for iCloud. And then you want to set up family sharing asks if you want to get started. It shows you a couple of highlights of what you can do with family sharing. So sharing purchase music, movies, TV shows, books, and apps. Share a family membership to an Apple Music account. 
share photos and videos in a family photo album, and schedule events on the family calendar. You want to set this up, you can add a photo if you want. You can share purchases. I'm going to hit continue on this. You can also share purchases from different accounts on the fly if you want to. So if there's an account on your family share plan that you don't want to share purchases from, say you have a student with a lot of games on their account and you don't want those purchases shared, you can tell it not to share those. You need to have a payment method put in place on your parent iCloud account. And in this section, you can tell it if you want to share your location or not. To add a family member, you choose add family member. Okay, and then it says that invitation has been sent. Now this isn't an actual valid email address, so I'm not going to be able to show you what it says on the invitation list, but you will see after that person accepts the invitation that they will show up on your family share list. So a couple of the features of the family sharing setup are family calendars. You can see the family calendars by clicking down below and you can see there's a family calendar set up right there. Obviously you can choose colors or whatever you want to do. If you go under the photos application, you'll see a new tab that says sharing. I don't have any pictures in this album right now, but if I did, you'll see them under an album that says family. And if you go under find friends, which is an application built into iOS, you will be able to see each family member's location if they have that location service turned on on their account. Okay, well that is the family sharing overview for iCloud parent accounts. If you have any other general questions about the usability of iCloud sharing, there are quite a few video tutorials and uh, written reviews of iCloud family sharing that can be found on Google or any other search provider. Have a wonderful day, and if you have any questions, please email us at helpdesk at ndpsaints.org. Again, that's helpdesk at ndpsaints.org, and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you.